Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve! We're back on the second floor here, outside, and well, now we're finally going to go up to the third floor. Well, I suppose we didn't really do a whole lot on the second floor last time, did we? Hmm. I'm kind of doing this a little out of order, but that works. Actually, you have to do it this way. You can't really go just about anywhere on the second floor right now, so... Other than those first couple rooms. Ha ha! Missed me! I love my machine gun. Firing ice bullets at enemies. Even though that doesn't really work in real life. At least that's what they did in the Mythbusters, isn't it? But anyway, aging. And for answering the question today, kids, you get bullets! Not exactly a good reward there. Okay, so, anyway. Let's, uh... Ah, oh, come on! You can't move like that! Stop dodging me. Ah, oh, nuts. I thought I was hitting the other one. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, fortunately, those guys are weak to ice, too. So, that helps out a little bit. I wonder what these are statues of. Like, earlier hominids or man or something? But, anyway... African female, we get a tool. All right. Let's see. We don't have to go down stairs here. To the left here, coming up. But I'm going to anyway, because there's an item we can get down here. You can't go anywhere from here. You can't go up, down, or right. Stripe, calm down. I think she found a toy. Okay, come on. There, oh, nope. Get together. Yes. Okay, fine. Swing and a miss. There we go. I think Stripe found a toy or something. Probably a battle cat. She loves those things. But yeah, even though it looks like we can go up there, we can't. What is that thing in the upper right there? I can't read that. A little too fuzzy there. Well, nice to know they got soda machines and snack machines here, but... I did get the treasure just now, didn't I? I lost my train of thought. Uh, yes I did. The revive. Not that I really care about it, but it's there. Oh, you know, I've got bonus points. I keep on forgetting to use those. Okay, let's see... Can't hit multiples, so... You know what, let's go with the good haze. Wait for these guys to punch up a little more and hit them with, uh, first. Come on, get over here. Nice. Come on! Okay, never mind. I'll take you out one at, one at a time then if you want to play it that way. One, two, three. Haha! <laughs> okay, well, I wanted to burst them all, but now nah, it won't work today. Oh well. What was I thinking about before this? Oh, right, the bonus points. Okay, so, let's dump those in there. Excellent. And let's reload my machine gun so I don't have to worry about that later. Flawless victory. Is that thing like a model of the core of the planet or something? But anyway, okay, so we're on the third floor here. Let's go this way. Gotta find Dr. Clamp around here and crash his party. Or they could crash into my party. Why not? And of course, like all good JRPGs, we have wyverns or pterodactyls or whatever. But anyway, with this guy, let's see. I want to go with haste. I want to see if I can steal something from him. Not that it's really important, but I was just thinking about it. So let's equip the club there. And then go for a steal. Hey, hey, all right, not bad. That was pretty easy. Nice thing about the uh, pterodactyl is that they are really slow. Uh, they are not weak to ice, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the rooms are so small, I don't even care about the range. I mean, it would be nice for burst, but that's about it. 
Okay, so, reload. Let's boost that bullet capacity a little bit. Oh, and I gotta reload that new bullet there, I guess. Okay, let's use uh, Medicine 2. Try to keep the inventory down a little bit. Man, Eve's even got dinosaurs on her side now. Pterodactyls. Velociraptors, or whatever those things are. What next? got these armadillo looking guys too okay let's see you know what let's not go with haste because it takes me so long to steal anyway That's... yeah I get my turn like way too quickly okay so yeah we got that from him I heard we can also get range plus one from this guy as well whoa want to stay in range, that's all. Yeah, we don't need haste against them. We'll be fine. Let's see. We gotta find a better way to get around this place. Try and find that alarm. That's our first objective. We gotta get turn off the alarms, so that way we can actually move around this place a little more freely than we can right now. Uh, oh. Okay, never mind. I was gonna check something, but whatever. Come on. Yes. Oh, I can't burst them. Damn it. Oh, I can. Woohoo. All right. Got him. I love it when the enemies move into range like that. Just uh, line up right next to each other for the execution. Thank you. Don't line up single file because then I won't be able to shoot all of you at once like that. Let's see, we got some stairs going down, but if you try to go there... Yeah, gates are closed. So... Gotta find Dr. Clamp, make him give us the gate key, and maybe even tear his arms off while we're at it. But anyway, yeah, you can't go up or downstairs or anything around here, so... We gotta go over here. Nuts. Well, can't go back now. But anyway, I think this is the room where that pterodactyl came out of before. Get a new uh, survival vest or protector. Awesome. Sure, let's go out the window. What's the worst that could possibly happen with the T-Rex statue out there? Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. Okay, so you want to be very careful around here or else you might fall off. No, no, just kidding. You can't fall off. You can run around all you want. Oh, why are two windows open like that? Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, you gotta go down. Once you go down, you can't go back up for a little while. Not this way, anyway. I like how they have that T-Rex statue in the foreground there. Just kind of staring at you like that. Foreshadowing! Okay. Okay, we can't go to the left. I was going to say, let's go see what happens if we try to go to the left, but no. Okay, so, let's get out the club. Do that. That's... Come on. Are you going to attack or something? Thank you. Haha! -ha! Hmm. I don't seem to be getting good stuff from him that often. My source did not say it, you could steal ammo from the guy. So, I think I'm going to skip on that. I think I just got lucky that first time. But, alright, now we got some bonus points. The bonus! Okay, so, let's see. Reload. Oh, reload. Game. There we go. Distribute bonus points for the first time immediately upon actually gaining a level. And let's move on. Let's see. Nuts. Hmm. I don't know what that is in that exhibit there. Well, probably something having to do with dinosaurs, evidently. I wonder if Dr. Clamp runs this place. Or if he's just, like, renting the one little office that he's got there. I mean, it does seem like kind of the thing that he's into. I mean, he's into mitochondria and all that stuff, so it has to do with natural history but anyway okay so what we want to do 
get closer to the scorpion. Damn it! Damn it! I wanted to get closer to him so he could hit me with that, but no. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Detox. At least I'm hasted up. But yeah, I want to try and stay to the side of the scorpion there. Okay, kill that guy. Are you just going to sit there? I don't know why he's, like, suddenly not doing anything. Uh, you got me on that one, viewers. I don't know. Maybe it was something with the uh, frost ability that I've got? But frost shouldn't do that. The only thing that could immobilize them would be, like, uh, the tranquilizer items. Or the tranquilizer bullets, which I don't have. Maybe there's a freezing ability that I don't know about. But anyway, yeah, you got stairs here. Can't go through those. That clamps off is over there. It's locked, just like everything else around here. So let's head on up here. Let's see. Reload. Oh, and I should probably use a medicine two or three. Hmm. Let's go with a two for now and uh, keep an eye on things. We'll be fine. Anyway, got a couple of these guys. Come on, jump over here. Bunch up together. Damn it. Now they bunch up together when they're out of range. That's... Well, that works. Annoying, but it works. Oh, and I got a couple of those. All right. Well, might as well put those to use. Man, this game just throws medicine at you. Why do these guys have all this... Or monsters have all this medicine anyway? But anyway, if you go under here, you get a hidden treasure. And if you go up again, you get another hidden treasure. Alright. So, let's put the defense to use. Oh. oh, well, that was the right armor. Okay, never mind. I thought I put it on the wrong one there. By accident there. see. Okay, we got more of these guys. Okay, well, they're too far away, so let's use haste. Nice thing about haste, too, is that it's really cheap. Ha ha ha! Come on. You weren't even aiming at me! What the hell? Just a bit outside. Ha ha. Alright, that was easy. Oh, I forgot to steal from them. Well, not that I... I think I decided I didn't care. But anyway, let's see what else we got around here. Yeah, th this is... Uh, well, in case it isn't obvious, this is the other side of the second floor that we couldn't go to before. First strike, awesome, haste. If only there were an ability that would give us auto-haste. But sadly, there is no such ability. Not in this game. Now, they didn't go crazy in, with that until, like, Final Fantasy VIII. Ha ha. Okay, got care took care of the guys that I cared about. Come on. Damn it. How did I run out of bullets there? I guess I forgot to reload or something. Anyway. Okay, so we got that. Oh, well, now I'm already reloaded. Can I do that retroactively? No. So you can't go to the left there. So let's go up here. Yeah, despite being... Or at least if you look at a map, it looks like it's open-ended. It is clearly not. Because they pretty much guide you exactly where they want you to go. All right, well, we found the security room here. And we get what I think is the ultimate machine gun in the game, or at least the main storyline, besides the junk weapon, too. Uh, the MP5PDW, whatever that is. So I'm going to be doing some stuff with that shortly. And let's see what we got up here. And... Whoa! Holy cow, that is one big uterus you got there. 
But anyway, we gotta find out where that is. But anyway, see the blinking green light? That's where the alarm is. It's not the blinking red light. That's the save point. And if you go around up to the upper right corner and then go down from there, you get an elevator. All right. And now the thing with the elevators in this area, or many of the elevators anyway, they can only go to specific floors. This one can only go between the second and fourth floors of the museum there. So, yeah, you can't, even though it gives you the option to go to the other floors, if you do that, nothing will happen. But anyway, let's see. Shotgun, burst. We're going to put that on my new machine gun in just a moment there. Let's see. Okay, we got a couple other things here. Ah, there it is. And here we get my ultimate armor in the game, the bio jacket. It has really good PE, uh, defense, critical. So I'm going to be moving a lot of stuff over that pretty soon, too. And a cure darkness potion. All right. So yeah, just a little hidden storage room. They got a couple of these quiz machines in here, too. I kind of like that, even though you can't do anything with them. But, well, it would make sense that they would have backup units of that stuff in case one of them broke down during a tour or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, okay. So, we got the alarms turned off. So, we can pretty much go wherever we want to now. We can go use any of the st almost any of the stairs... The doors are pretty much all unlocked. Almost all. Like I said, almost all of them. And... Uh, what is he? Oh yeah, most of the elevators are working now, too. I'm only saying most instead of all, because I think they all are. But I think there's a few exceptions. And I forget exactly which ones are which. So... Oh, hey look. Giant T-Rex statue again. It doesn't look so big now. Oh, so that's what that slime was coming here for. It wanted a T-Rex. Nuts. And of course, like all good JRPGs, if you have a statue of a bird or a gargoyle or a lizard... Yeah, they're going to come alive, and you're going to have to fight it. Nuts. Ha ha. Okay, well, I've been pretty much, well, almost everywhere in the museum now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here, go back to Wayne, drop off some stuff, pick up the items I need to customize my new equipment, and then we'll continue on around here. Where is Dr. Clamp? How powerful can my ultimate machine gun possibly be? Will it be enough to defeat the giant T-Rex? Find out next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.